Okay, so again, welcome to the general meeting, and we'll first start with uh, the president's greetings, uh, President Gargish. Thank you very much, Judy. A very warm welcome to all of you in the city of Mathura, all the virtual. I wish you were all here. <coughs> it's so close to the Taj Mahal. Mm. It's a very ancient city. You would have enjoyed the food. You would have enjoyed the variety here. It would have been <coughs> wonderful. And I'm very happy to tell you that the two days of conference have been going on pretty successfully. Yesterday, we had some hitch up because of the lack of experience. But today, that has been made up. And I think things will become very much better and better. So everyone is feeling very happy, very high. And, I, and the interaction with the participants is very good and very encouraging. We are also feeling very happy. And I find the, most of the participants also very happy, whosoever I've interacted with. I think, I hope you will share what I'm saying, probably when you reflect on it and when you give, you us, give us your impressions. I think it's going on very well. And uh, the presence of the EC members, the presence of the AB members, it stimulates us, particularly when they are active participants in discussions and uh, make presentations, give symposia, RENs and whatnot and whatnot. It's wonderful, just wonderful to see all of you together. And uh, let's begin with the meeting. This is wonderful. I'm very happy to be here. I welcome you all. It's a good occasion. We have a happy feeling. We are positive. I would like to share this uh, atmosphere of positivity with you from Mathura. Thank you, President Kargish. Now with uh, President Lee's greetings. Okay. Um, I just see that um, the uh, uh, Professor Hyung Lee, the uh, founding president here, and uh, Professor Koike is over here. And um, yes. Professor Hamid Fahad here, and Professor John Jian John here. I, I feel like that we are in the, uh, the same family group over here. And uh, thank you very much for your coming here. Um, we are now in the, uh, in the pandemic, but um, it's, it's amazing that uh, we have been doing uh, great so far in this conference. Um, actually, there were some issues and some worries before the conference, but now I found that uh, my worries were overblown. It's, uh, it's really successful now. Well, um, I'd like to express my appreciation um, to the Professor Mohanty, the conference chair, and uh, his team for making this possible. And I know that um, they are really uh, working hard. And also, uh, I um, thank all the invited speakers and all presenters for their uh, making presentations over here, which are all successful. And also, I'm very impressed with some series of uh, featured speeches and a uh, series of symposia and, you know, so that I really thank the research network team and also webinar series committee for their uh, interesting presentation. Uh, and also yesterday, uh, I think it was very joyful when I saw the participants were chatting with one another for about 30 minutes yesterday. And I knew that it was not planned at all, but it was really great that we got more comfortable to each other. I was able to feel the warmth and friendship, even in an online conference. Well, we have just one day uh, more, one more day to go. Uh, thank you for your continuous support, and I hope you enjoy the conference until the end of this conference. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, President Lee. Now we're gonna start with our reports and we'll first begin with the report on conferences. And the uh, first report will be given by last year's conference chair, Vice President Chu Gyeong Park. Hello everyone. It's very nice to see you all here. Um, I feel like it's only yesterday that we had our last year's conference, but it's been a year already and um, I'd like to congratulate um, uh, 2021 Asia TEFL International Conference uh, Organizing Committee uh, for having this successful conference. And I'm very happy to give you a report for last year's conference. As you can see, um, Asia TEFL 2020 International Conference was held uh, in November 27th until 29th, 2020 uh, online and Kintex Convention Center, Koyang, South Korea. And it was the very of Asia TEFL. 
and we've gone through a lot of uh, difficulties that we have never experienced before. But thanks to uh, everybody's support in prayer, and of course, uh, hard work, uh, we made another uh, great success. And the conference theme was interweaving theory and practice in EFT in Asia, creating new prospects for the future. Next slide, please. Let me give you uh, briefly some of the statistics uh, about last year's conference. We had around 1,200 proposals submitted and around uh, 839 proposals were accepted. And we had one keynote speaker uh, from South Korea and six plenary speakers and six featured speakers and 340 concurrent sessions. And uh, it was a hybrid conference, but then because of the, uh, I guess it, it was the number of the uh, COVID-19 infections were increasing uh, around the conference time. So we had only five on-site presentations. And in terms of the registration, we had around 950 registered and 820 paid registrants. And then uh, regarding participation, uh, we had about 150 on-site participants uh, who are all from South Korea. And uh, all the participants were from 37 countries and regions, including 23 from Asian countries and regions. Next slide, please. As I said, uh, we had a lot of difficulties because of the uh, sudden change of the whole uh, uh, convention environment. But then uh, we made this a great success. And the key words were three, including commitment, collaboration, and creativity. First of all, uh, due to commitment to uh, the 2020 Asia Temple Organizing Committee's uh, great commitment to Asia TEFL and the success of 2020 Asia TEFL. And number two, collaboration. Last year, we had a great partner, uh, which is Korea TISO, uh, one of the uh, Korean ELT associations. And then we had uh, uh, some support from MICE experts and also meeting technology team. And of course, presenters, uh, when they were requested to submit their pre-recorded videos, uh, they did. And general attendees, when we uh, request them to join us online for the opening and uh, closing ceremonies, a lot of people so willingly uh, joined us. And then we had a great time together. So without this um, uh, collaboration from all these different groups, of uh, individuals and organizations, the success of Asia Temple 2020 uh, would not have been possible. And then most of all, creativity. Uh, we uh, adjusted our conference time to uh, international times in order to widen up uh, the participants from all different parts of the world. And also, if you were uh, participants of the last year's conference, uh, you will remember the virtual conference platform we had and MC Robot, uh, which were working with our general secretary, Dr. Judy In, and Professor Paul Matsudez, a hologram telepresentation, and of course, online lucky draw and more. Uh, next slide, please. Um, after the conference, we had two very important post-conference services. The first one on YouTube channel for about a month after the conference. And uh, if you can see the YouTube link, you can still have some of the videos, not the individual presentations, but major events uh, that we had last year. So please visit this uh, link and then enjoy those uh, videos. And another uh, important uh, post-conference activity was that uh, we made 2020 Asia Tefer Conference Report, which has all the documents 
and uh, all the samples of the I guess uh, conference materials. And I believe this will uh, help all our uh, following succeeding uh, conference uh, organizers. So once again, I'm very happy that uh, we have done this tremendous uh, job. Uh, and in the end, we had a great success. And thank you all for your support and cooperation. So thank you. Thank you, Professor Park. Now we're going to move on to our current uh, conference, 2021 conference of uh, Professor Mohatni. Uh, would you like to give us Professor Mohatni? Yes. Um, welcome again. And thank you very much uh, for uh, participating in a very big way. It was a pleasure. Today, there were some small hiccups yesterday, and today we feel quite happy and good that everything has gone well. This is the report of uh, 2021 conference that is being held you know, at Mathura, India. Number of proposals, uh, proposal submissions, 417. Number of accepted proposals, 379. Number of presentations, uh, one keynote, six plenary, five featured speeches, and 165 concurrent you know, presentations, both uh, paper and poster, but you know, the poster presentations when, uh, didn't happen for, due to, uh, for certain reasons. Number of conference registrants, 326 paid, presidents, uh, paid participants, and number of countries participating, uh, 27. Yes. <laughs> Wait, 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 so ours, so ours. I'm sorry, you know, there was some kind of, we have made, you know, a new, another, another one, news. yeah, another slides. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. Yeah, yes, this is one, this is the one, which have... yeah, N next slide, next, next one, yeah, uh, number of participants, if you, uh, total number of abstracts, received 417 paid participants are 183 participants with waiver 81 total number of participants 264 number of countries 27 and number of asian countries 16 next slide you know these are the details from australia 7 bangladesh 11 brazil 4 canada 5 china 32 philippines 6 hong kong 6 india 14 indonesia 24 Ireland 4, Japan 52, South Korea 32, Malaysia 5, Myanmar 14, Nepal 5, Singapore 5, Sri Lanka 9, Taiwan 2, Thailand 5, UK 1, Uzbekistan 4, USA 10, Vietnam 6, and Argentina uh, 1. Total number of participants 264. Uh, you know, uh, as all of you know, we had to shift the venue. You know, it was deadly COVID and its terrible effects. I'm sure, you know, you must have read in the newspapers or heard from television uh, news channels that India was really devastated and lakhs of people were affected and, you know, um, uh, passed away because of the COVID. Initially, the conference was scheduled to be held on site at uh, JW Marriott Delhi, which is very close to the airport. It's in the Aero City area. We thought, you know, people would uh, come to Delhi, and it will. It's hardly four kilometers from the Delhi airport. This hotel, but due to uh, COVID nineteen, it was decided to be held online, and the venue was shifted to the Indian Council of Social Science Research, and this is one of the premier institutes of the government of India, and uh, you know the infrastructural facilities available there are fantastic. We wanted to hold the conference there online. But again, the COVID-19 raised its fangs and the venue had to be shifted to GLA University, Mathura, for the safety of the organizing uh, committee members because people in Mathura were affected. In fact, you know, two, three days ago, we have heard that people have been affected. It's a big news here. Next slide, please. These are some of the screenshots which were taken yesterday and uh, uh, today. And all of you have participated yesterday and today. We can see that, yes, let's go if, yeah. 
so you know these are yes so the details of presentation um keynote address 1 plenary speeches 6 featured speeches 5 symposia 3 workshops 3 and the concurrent presentations are you know 141 so thank you very much and i hope you know with the flying of the birds um and they look uh, to be very uh, happy and uh, you know glad so i'm sure we'll have uh, one more day and after that we'll also feel good thank you very very much thank you professor gargesh you want to say something <laughs> no you have already said enough thank you very much well professor mahanti i would just like to say that professor mahanti has done a tremendous job and it is a really very trying time and there have been uh, occasions when uh, the website failed uploading failed and registrants had problems maybe you can understand that uh, the oc was scattered so sometimes even the uh, what you call the connection between the members broke so uh, things professor were professor gargesh uh, professor gargesh uh, long ago professor ju king park stated i sent her a mail we were uh, scattered and shattered all i remember that she told me that that you wrote to her that we are shattered and scattered so in that scattered uh, state it was very difficult to organize it was very difficult to uh, remain in touch and uh, sometimes the mails failed and sometimes somebody responsibility went over something happened so things did happen and uh, gradually we took control of all the things and for the monkey to control of things and of course i also added my bit whatever i could do and we took control of the whole thing and it was well done and ultimately in the end it's all well done all went the tent well so far so good it's very good and thanks to professor manthi for all his pains and troubles and all the members of the organizing committee they're doing a good job i can see them running here in in very spiritedly and uh, doing a lot of work and uh, yes they're all uh, highly they're all inexperienced so that's why there were some some glitches yesterday but very minor ones otherwise things went off very well and today i suppose there were no glitches so even the people here are getting experience into how to organize an international conference they've never they've never seen how an international conference is organized many of them so it's been a good experience here good learning experience here thanks to asia tapu so it's come to mathura people in this region also know how things must be organized at the grassroots level and also academically of course people have gathered they've, they've understood what's going on so i think asia tapu has made a great impact and uh, i thank both asia tafel our ac members eb members for the great support that they given us without their support uh, probably uh, professor manthi could have would also have been discouraged so thank you very much and thank you professor manthi for all the support and i think it's all well done in the end all well done and i think by tomorrow we'll have a good glorious session glorious session thank you yes thank you professor manthi and uh, president gargesh Now I'm going to go back to my slides with uh, continuing on with the report on publications. We'll have the first report uh, by our journal managing editor, Professor Hwang Jong Bae, and the second one will be by our book editor in chief, Professor Cho Dong Wan. Okay, hi everyone. Nice to see you all again. Yes. Uh, yeah. In the first slide, you can see our all uh, editorial board members. So you can see that the editor in chief is Dr. Anthony John Kunan, and uh, actually we publish uh, the journal in six categories: uh, research articles, brief reports, um, research issues, teaching issues, assessment issues, and book review. So in each category, we have a main editor and one, two, three. assistant or editors so i'd like to uh, take this opportunity to thank them all for their hard work thank you very much right next slide please okay now let me show you the publication results of the journal from last year's winter issue to this year's fall issue As you can see in the slide, uh, we published 14 research articles in the winter issue last year, and 11 articles in spring, 13 in 
in the summer and nine research articles in the fall issue this year. So for each issue, we also published about 15 and, and so, yeah, actually well, 116 in, in the spring issue uh, and uh, one issue article and about three book reviews. Okay, and if you look at the research article submission to publication ratio, you can see 18.2 in winter last year, 14.9% in last spring, 17.6% in summer issue, and 10% in last fall issue. Yeah, I think uh, I should maintain the ratio of publication to submission between 15 to 20, but it's, it's not an easy job. So but anyway, I'll try. Okay, this is the uh, general publication report. Uh, thank you very much. Uh I think Professor Cho Dong Wan is not with us today, so I'll just give uh, a give brief uh, explanation about the book, Volume 11. It was due to be published in 2022, and it was based on 2021 conference theme. But as, uh, as he mentioned during our ECN uh, AB meeting, uh, there were a bit of um, difficulties in publishing that. So um, I, they've decided to um, uh, extend the manuscript deadline to March 31st, uh, 2022. And uh, he gave a special uh, thanks to uh, Professor Spolsky for um, uh, providing the manuscript for us. So thank you very much. Now we're gonna move on to the report on SSCI. Uh, our director for SSCI, uh, Hee Kyung Lee, Professor Hee Kyung Lee, cannot be with us today, but she has sent her video um, presentation. So let's hear from the director. I'm sorry. I'm going to fix this a little bit. What do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ลามันก็ลามันอืมอ่ะครับอ่ะครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับคร
and uh, currently as uh, this is for the general uh, meeting so uh, i'd like to contextualize, uh, contextualize this we I just therefore started as a uh, kind of the big organization with no meta fee, but uh, in 2013 we decided to uh, 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 charge membership fee. Uh, it's a minimum, but uh, uh, so we call them as a full member, and at that time it's an associate member. So uh, look at this: uh, 671 is current full paid members. That include a one-year membership to the lifetime, which we'll uh, talk about in the next slide. Uh, the 7,552, this is what we originally called a member and they get uh, mem like a mailing list something. But again, uh, uh, we uh, really wish those men the, to increase the membership. And then general members 489 and we have a teacher students and something. Uh, so we have different member category, but please go ahead with the next slide. Okay, this is a country by country. They are Indonesia and South Korea make big. And then, so if you are like a representative from this country, and if you're not friend in the other country, uh, what we call the underrepresented countries, and we really increased, uh, need to increase membership and also that we could do more like uh, collaboration. Okay, next please. Okay, this is uh, what I called about the uh, membership. If you just uh, look at the uh, very top of the tables there, we have a one-year membership and two-year membership, three-year membership, five-year membership, and lifetime membership. Again, uh, look at Indonesia and Korea. Uh, these are the, actually, uh, we had a conference in Korea and uh, Indonesia, and uh, we have like uh, many lifetime members in uh, China, for example. And uh, Japan also has a membership, but uh, it's more like uh, short-time me members. But again, uh, I need your cooperation and we need to increase members. I just want to repeat it. Okay, next please. Okay, that's, thank you very much. I will talk about the, uh, the other issue related member later. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Oda. Now we're gonna move on to the report on finance and public relations, Vice President uh, Park Chukyang. Okay, hello again. Uh, I'd like to uh, give you a report on finance and public relations. Um, first of all, the, the position of Vice President of Finance, uh, now the name has changed to Finance and Public Relations. And the reason why uh, we included the public relations is to develop and implement external communications, ensuring that communication support is constantly being provided and that the messages accurately represent values and objectives of Asia TEFL and its programs and activities. And in, in regarding finance, um, we've been uh, continuing partnership with major sponsors, particularly for this year's conference. Uh, we uh, got some sponsor, uh, sponsorship from ETS and English Wumu and British Council Korea. Next slide, please. And in order to uh, have our publicity uh, activities, we uh, organized the Asia TEFL Publicity Committee uh, in January this year. And then we had two uh, Zoom meetings in April. And I'm the chair and uh, Dr. Robert Dickey is the director. And then Currently, we have 15 active members across 10 countries. Uh, Dr. Hegyeong Kim and Dr. Robert Kerr from Korea, Supa Kon, uh, Sil from Thailand, Pupung Purnawaranman uh, from Indonesia, Siti uh, Staya Abu uh, Hanifa from Malaysia, Changcheng Duan from China, Sandesha uh, Rayapa Garbiyal from India, Sumudu Ambogama from Sri Lanka, Nguyen T. Kim An from Vietnam, Aurelio Vilobar uh, from the Philippines, Farin Hassan from Pakistan. And the uh, publicity team activities is ongoing or the year round. And we've been also working with the uh, Asia Tefl Conference Executive Director and Webinars Publicity Director, uh, Dr. Hee Kyung Lee from Korea, and also Asia Tefl Facebook team, um, uh, 
including Asia Tipper Vice President Masaki Oda and Ms. Dr. Mr. Kim. Next slide, please. And uh, uh, in order to have our uh, activities going on, we've created an email account uh, and then social media accounts. As you can see here, uh, we have Facebook, and Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and then uh, each social media, I mean, for each uh, social media, we have a manager, and then they've been managing all these social media accounts. And then the Facebook group now has over 2,900 group members, and the other accounts each have less than 50 now. Um, and the regular messages have been sent specific to various activities, including twice monthly shares of selected journal articles and announcements of uh, webinars and announcements of uh, 2021 Asia Tech Fall. And then uh, I'd like to uh, show you the sample of the, um, the selected journal article announcement in the next slide. This is uh, the announcement that you will, uh, you have received. And this particular one uh, has been sent out just a couple of days ago. And this uh, is very important to uh, uh, promote our uh, journal, Journal of Asia Tefo. And our goal is to have uh, this uh, journal indexed uh, SSCI. So uh, this has been uh, quite effective to have more uh, visitors on our uh, Asia Tefo website. Uh, and so when you get this uh, uh, announcement uh, in your email, please check and uh, use this uh, journal so that we could have more uh, impact factor. So this is all about it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice President Park. Uh, speaking of SSCI, I just fixed the video. So I'd like to show you if you can be a little bit of patience. This is a report from the director for SSCI. I am Hee Kyung Lee from Yonsei University in Korea. As you might know, it would be great if our journal gets indexed in SSCI in terms of the reputation of the journal and our association as well. We have been trying very hard to index our journal in SSCI, which is still indexed in ESCI, Emerging Sources Citation Index. I have contacted Clarity person in charge many times to find out what lacks and what needs to be done to have our journal indexed in SSCI. Claribit is the company that handles all the works for indexing. There are several, ex several examination factors they consider, and we fulfilled most of them except for the citation index. JCI is the most important indicator for a journal to be indexed in SSCI, which we need to, which we need to work hard to increase. JCI is their own indicator the company made to evaluate all the journals. It is a bit complicated to compute the indicator. In their document, they said it is the average category normalized citation impact for papers published in the prior three year period. The category means the academic area that each journal belongs to. The average of JCI in one category is one, which means that journals with a JCI of 1.5 have 50% more citation impact uh, than the average in that category. As you might see in this uh, slide, the JCI of our journal uh, of the year of 2020 uh, is 0 0.40 and decreased a bit uh, compared to the previous years. The clarity person said that the trend of JCI needs to be rising every year at least, although it does not necessarily exceed one. Then, how can we increase the citation? To answer the question, we need to know how JCI is computed. 
It counts citations of the previous three years published in the articles of all journals, work, books, and conference proceedings in the core collection. There is a people here. We know that the articles of our journal have been cited pretty well in many pre published other, uh, other articles. But the JCI only counts the citation in the document of the core collection. Then what is the core collection? Uh, it is listed here in this slide. As you see, there are all the documents indexed in their own uh, in their own collection, like uh, SCIE, SSCI, ANHCI, and um, ESCI, and and uh, some other things here. In terms of JCI, our journal is ranked uh, 499 out of 724 in the field of education and educational research. Um, in the last few years, the quartile rank is Q3, which belongs to 25 to 50%, which is not that high. Another important uh, indicator, GIF, journal impact factor, Mm, is not known for the ESCI. Uh, they said they only provide this indicator for SSCI journals. Now, let me talk about what we have done to increase JCI. As you might think, we need to be more strategic to increase the JCI. Uh, as I said, JCI only counts citations in the journals of the Web of Science of Co Collection. At the early days of this year, we searched for journals in the field of education and educational research from the Web of Science database. We collected all email information of authors who published in recent three years in those journals. They were about 3,500 people. We sent emails to all of them to call for papers in March of this year. And we also sent another email for implicitly requesting them to cite all the articles of Journal of Asia Temple uh, this October. We will keep watching out for the indicator and try our best to have the journal indexed in SACCI. This is the end of the report. Thanks for listening. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next presentation, report on Facebook, going back to Vice President Masaki Oda. Okay, thank you very much. As uh, Dr. Park uh, reported, uh, this is, uh, uh, actually we started this Facebook page uh, prior to a 2020 conference as I tried to promote that. So it was like we launched the Facebook page first before we uh, actually uh, try to figure out uh, how to use it. And originally, we actually, uh, this was an open group for the more on the promotion publicity purposes, and anybody can join it. But at that, at that uh, some point, uh, we uh, felt that we needed some control over it, because I think people just join it, and whether they are actually in the ELT profession or those who are interested in the profession, or just simply they want to join as many groups as possible, even they like a high school students join it. So we started screening it, and uh, then uh, we uh, asked uh, some questions. We have a Facebook has a function here on the Facebook. So that's a question about where you're from and you are, you are students or teachers or a teacher trainer, something like that, but it didn't work because you can say anything because uh, there's no reason to like reject it because of the like where you're from or not. So then uh, we, uh, our, our number grow that we sometimes receive more than 100 friends requests on Facebook. So we just made sure, uh, worked on a policy with the publicity team and we decided that the first, uh, you know, um, you can uh, to tell them that you can see all the announcement without becoming a friend. And also, uh, we decided that we primarily use our Facebook as a feeder for our main homepage, the web page. So we don't put uh, so much thing, but we put the link to the Facebook page. 
uh, to increase and also uh, we occasionally place this membership invitation so that we, uh, we could read to the membership page and etc. And then uh, around, uh, I think, uh, New Year, uh, the January, and we had about uh, 1900 uh, friends there. And then there was some confusion that uh, so many people assumed that if you became the member of Facebook and you are automatically members of Asia Tefo, and which is not true. So we uh, worked on a term, so we just use the word friends uh, as opposed to members that who are paid members. And then, uh, then uh, there are a lot of postings coming in, the commercial posting, and then as well as the other, uh, like there are a lot of uh, English language teaching page with a discussion, which is really useful. But uh, this is not the page for the discussion or just a greeting page. This is more like a for promotion page. So then we restricted the comment and then there are call for papers coming in uh, and also some other, like somebody, uh, this call for paper appeared on some personal Facebook and they just simply people want to share. So we started to restrict that. And we are now, we have a policy that we only post AJT4 activities and those activities formally request to the AJT4 by the organizer and uh, upon the approval of uh, the, the directors and then the publicity committee. So uh, now we are pretty much in control. We have uh, uh, about uh, 2,900 2, and then Facebook has somehow calculate so-called active members, something. So usually attractive 1500 something. And then there are a lot of statistics. We haven't really done the research, but uh, we are going to, what we are going to do is at least how many people is visiting, has visited as a result of uh, accessing the posting to invite membership and go to membership and how many people become the member. That is the next step. But actually, uh, huge, um, each announcement, including like publication something, it's read by maybe a thousand to 15, a thousand, maybe two, 300 to 2,000, but that about thousand something within 24 hours. So which is very effective. And uh, one of the most popular announcements are the webinar series, uh, which usually attract uh, 1,500 to 2,000 in the 24 hours, uh, the hits. I don't know uh, how they count this. So, uh, I figure out just about the 1,000 to 1,500 active members. A member means friends there, readers there. Okay, next please. I think this is it. Yeah, yes. So these are there. So these are the policies I've talked about. No commercial posting, no personal message inquiries, and uh, no, no AGFA for activities. And there's now new uh, friends has to accept this before uh, become a member. During this conference, uh, today I think I had to uh, maybe accept and reject about 60 today, just today. But again, fortunately, I had to reject about uh, maybe 40, 45, because they haven't really let it and didn't accept it. So that's, but uh, we need some control by it because we got some spam and something and then also try to protect the privacy something. So we are working on it and in consultation with the publicity, but which has been, I think, successful, but we'll have to do more. And if you have any suggestion, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Oda. Uh, now we're going to have a report on research networks. Uh, Professor Wen Chi Fang. Professor Wen, could you turn on your mic? Okay. Thank you very much for you to provide me with such opportunity to talk about our research project. The project actually has been initiated according to the suggestions made by Professor Koike and other professors. Now this team uh, is to focus on curriculum 
studies. And all together, we got uh, 11 members. Um, some of them are volunteers from uh, our e EB board, like Professor Alder and uh, Professor Phillips, and uh, other members by regional representatives. And we formed a team from the March 2021, 20, just this year. Actually, after that, we had meeting once in a month from March until October, so continuously. Now we got all these members, uh, one to read one after another. And actually, yesterday and today, uh, some of them have already finished their feature speakers. Now for here, five feature speakers, Tui Khan, and he will give the presentation tomorrow. All these four have already finished their uh, presentations. Actually, I attend all of them, and it seems to me their presentations have attracted a uh, quite big number of uh, participants. And then for the symposium, and this part, we give the symposium. The theme is online English language teaching and teacher development during the pandemic. And uh, we finished this presentation, I think uh, one hour ago. And uh, so I think that this project has run well, particularly with the help of Professor Alder. Every time when we had meeting, I will ask him to help me to book the Zoom link and then we can participate because in China, we're not able to initiate the meeting on the Zoom, but we can participate in the Zoom meeting. And uh, the, the most exciting thing is during their presentations, some of them are uh, asked whether they can join our team or not. I said, of course, you're welcome. And I guess uh, I give the email address to them. And I guess after this conference, some of them might join us. So our research team can be expanded. And also we feel we have a lot more to do uh, on this project. Also, we can move to more topics to do further research. That's all. Thank you very much for all your help. Mm. Thank oh, you, Professor Wen. Sorry. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, there is another page. Okay, I finished. Okay. Thank you, Professor Wen, for the report. Um, now we're going to move on to report our webinar series. Uh, Professor Pragasit, uh, he has sent us the video, but he's actually here to share his slides. So, Professor Pragasit, would you like to Very, share okay. your screen? Uh, I'm not allowed to. Yes, I've I've requested, but um, I think they're working on it right now. Okay. Okay. Hi, everybody. Greetings from Thailand. Nice to see you all tonight. Uh, please allow me to briefly report uh, the 2021 TFO webinar series project, which I was responsible for, and it was just completed in October. Can I share my slide, please? Mm -hmm. Still not allowed to. No, they oh. need to be co-host. Then yeah. Okay. Yes. You, you might ask them to do that for you. Um. Anyway, uh, this project was run wait, okay, wait. by... Please wait, give a minute. Wait for one minute. So less than a minute, don't worry. Please, yeah, yes, done. Uh, yeah, actually, okay, thank you. Is it okay? Yeah, yes, okay, now. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Okay, and this project was uh, collaboratively run by a team consisting of 15 members from Thailand, Malaysia, Korea. <laughs> the webinar launching show took place in May with the purpose to introduce uh, the project. 
after the launching show, uh, the webinar was organized on the third Saturday of every month with different themes. And the first uh, one was conducted in June and the last one in October. Totally, uh, a series of five webinar series uh, were, were conducted, as you can see on the screen. I'd like to inform you that this project attracted a large number of registrants and attendees from around the world for each webinar. For example, 2040 people registered for webinar number three, and which was an unexpected number. And based on the statistics we collected, people from around 40 countries joined the webinars. Most participants were from Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, India, the Philippines, and China. Of all the participants, 38.2% of them were university lecturers, and 36.5% were school teachers, and 17.5% were students. From the feedback we received, most participants responded with a high level of satisfaction and would like uh, this useful project to continue. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Pragasid, and very good to see you here. <laughs> now I'm going to go back to my slides. We're going to move on to the report on budgets. Uh, Treasurer Kim Eun-ju will give her report. Hello, I'm the new uh, Treasurer of Asia Teppo, Eun-ju Kim. Now I'm going to give you the uh, budget report. Um, as of November 30, uh, the Asia Teppo um, balance is uh, $64,115, and it is based on the revenue of $87,730 and expenses of $23,620. Next slide, please. Let me, um, let me give you the, um, the uh, specific item of the revenue. Um, we started from the balance uh, of the last year's um, team, and it was 40, uh, 45,400. And then this year we had a two sponsorship, it is Global and English Mumu, and it was 12,700. And last year, 2020 Asia Tefl Conference was hosted in Korea. And then the Korea, um, Korea sector wired $7,000 to the headquarter. And there were two personal donations. The first one was Dr. Hong Su Lee and he donated $5,080. And another, um, the other um, donation was made by doc, uh, Dr. Hee Kyung Lee, and it was $2,520. And then membership fee since um, November 30 last year uh, until uh, November 30 this year, uh, it, it became $17,000. Um, $35. So it, it became total $87,735. Uh, $735, Next slide, please. Uh, meanwhile, the expense was total um, $23,620. And it was based on the four uh, items. First one is Asia, uh, Asia Temple Journal. Uh, we spent $16,936. And then um, right now we are uh, having the uh, 20, um, 20, 2021 Asia TEFL conference and we uh, are going to spend um, $4,808. And we had a several council meetings in Korea and um, the, it costs $827 and others um, we spent um, $1,049. And let me uh, give you the specific details of each expense. Next slide, please. Uh, first, uh, for the Asia um, TEFL journals, uh, uh, for the screening and reviewing, processing, and editing the manuscript, uh, we spent uh, $7,800. $136. And uh, for, for e journal publishing and website management, it cost $9,100. Next slide, please. And then um, 
right now we are having the conference and we have a five featured speaker and uh, six symposium and for the panelists and speakers we are going to spend uh, we are going to pay um, 200 um, two thousand seven hundred dollars and and uh, as you can see, the pres presidential team in Korea, they are getting together to uh, manage uh, this conference successfully. So uh, we are renting the room and uh, accommodation, and it will cost $1,597. And uh, we hired uh, some um, part-timers for membership list check and registration support. And... Um, uh, it, it costs $511. And then uh, several council meetings in Korea. First, Korean General Council meetings, uh, members meeting, we spent uh, 400, uh, $494. And then Korean EC members meetings, um, uh, it costs $174. And we had a, a one meeting with the sponsors English from English Moomers, Moomoo, and it costs $159. And then, um, as you can see, the uh, uh, as, as Professor Pragasit is leading the web uh, webinar, and uh, we had to subscribe to Zoom, and it cost $263. And as Dr. Lee mentioned, we tried to uh, make an effort to increase JCI. So we uh, did a lot of, you know, the journal research and the collecting uh, distinguished authors, almost 3,000 people, and then sending emails to them two times. So we hired the part-timers, and uh, it cost $376, and uh, we paid the tax and some some um, events. So uh, for others, we spent um, $410, so it cost $1,049. So in summary, again, so all of these revenues and expenses, as of November 30, we had a uh, uh, $64,115. This is the end of the uh, report. Thank you, Professor Kim. Now we're gonna go to the auditor re report. Uh, the auditor will be Professor Lee young -won. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, it's very nice to see you uh, tonight and give you uh, the audit report. Uh, as far as I understand, the main duty of the auditors is to uh, review and examine the financial record prepared by the uh, association's treasurer and then give the, uh, the result of the report. It was result of the audit uh, to EC and then AB meetings and also uh, general meeting. I am one of the two auditors, and another auditor is uh, Professor Eun Suk Shim, and who happens to be the uh, former treasurer of the association. So she knows the uh, budget very well, and you know she knows you know, how the, the fund was raised and how uh, the fund were, were used and then how the report were prepared. And so she reviewed the uh, financial record and I served as a sort of cross-checker. Uh, and overall, uh, we are, uh, I think we actually had a, um, the, uh, the review meeting uh, on Sunday, November 28th, I think through Zoom. Uh, I think Eun Suk Kim and me and then the treasurer Eun Ju Kim uh, like had a meeting through uh, Zoom and then we reviewed the uh, report, budget report prepared by uh, Professor Kim. And then uh, we asked questions uh, and we discussed uh, some of the issues and then also some of the revisions were made to the uh, budget report, I think. Our overall assessment uh, is that I think uh, the association is in a very good, uh, very nice uh, financial uh, uh, situations. Uh, we are very happy with the current uh, financial situation. Uh, and also, uh, I think we are very uh, happy uh, with the way uh, the, uh, the budget was uh, actually uh, managed, I think. Uh, we have a very short uh, report prepared. So uh, let me read the, uh, the audit report statement, I think consisting of uh, revenue expenditure and balance. As auditors of Asia TEFL, we have examined the financial record made by Professor Eunju Un Kim, uh, treasurer of Asia TEFL, which comprised the revenue and expenditure from November 2020 to November 2021. 
With regard to the revenue, a great effort has been made by President uh, Kilian Lee and Vice President for Finance Resources Chu Kyung Park in securing the sponsorship from the Korean uh, donators. Collaborative efforts have been made by the Korean council members to get funding from ETS Global and English Mumu. The total revenue uh, is 87,735 US dollars, including the carryover money, uh, 45,400 uh, US dollars from the year of 2020. Uh, let me uh, you know, take a special note. I make a, make an, a statement here that I think uh, we already, um, I already mentioned President uh, Gillian Lee and Vice President uh, Chu Kyung Park but also there was a carryover money of about of, you know, 45,000 from the previous years. So I think the, uh, the leadership of the previous administration, including President uh, Chan ji uh, and then other vice president and other um, uh, DEC AB members, they did a great job. And also in this year, I guess they doubled the, uh, the amount. Uh, and uh, the, in, in terms of ex expenditure, the majority of the budget has been used for essential matters such as journal publication, conference management, and council meetings. The president, the vice president for finance uh, resources, and the treasurer have thus done their best to serve Asia TEFL and the conference participant and to serve to save as much of, as, of the budget as possible. The total expenditure during the uh, audited period is uh, 23,620 uh, US dollars. And as of November 2021, uh, the balance is um, 64,115 uh, uh, US dollars. We therefore find the financial record of Asia TEFL during the aforementioned period to be accurate and complete. Auditors of Asia TEFL, uh, Yong Wen Lee and Eun Suk uh, Shin, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you, Professor Lee. Uh, as Professor Lee had mentioned about the, the past presidents, uh, we would now like to show a special appreciation to our past president, uh, Professor Fuad and Professor Chan ji -young. Yes, Yes. Uh... Hello. Um... Well, at this time, um, I'd like to uh, have a chance to thank the um, immediate past presidents for their hard work for Asia TEFL. As the governance changed in 2017, Asia TEFL started a new policy with two presidents. One president is in charge of a conference, membership research, and the other is in charge of finance and publication. Professor Father Hamiet and Professor Jian John were the first co-presidents in the history of Asia TEFL. In addition, as another new policy of president-elect system began, they had to extend their presidency by one year. So they served as presidents for three years. Their cooperation was so wonderful enough to tackle the new challenge of COVID-19 effectively in planning the annual conference in a hybrid manner. Their successful work as presidents for three years should be recognized. Yes. So now President Gargish and I would like to present them with the awards of this appreciation. Okay, why don't we um, show our appreciation? Uh, <laughs> I will, <laughs> Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee I would like to join you in, ap in appreciating oh, yes, the yes, great please. work. I would like please. to join you in appreciating the great work done by Professor Fuad and Professor Jian, Ji Hyun Jian, Professor Fuad, they have worked exceptionally well. Um, the kind of meetings they held, the kind of meeting they conducted, and the kind of bon homi that was there, and the kind of sharing that took place, and the kind of collective decisions that took place, it was wonderful. It was wonderful working with them, very enjoyable. They deserve an award, definitely a big award. <laughs> if, 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 I, if I would have the, if, if I would have it, I would give them a bigger award also. Great work by both of them. Great work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for leading us. Thank you very much for mentoring us. Professor Fuad and Professor Jian Jian have been great mentors. I did not know what is vice presidentship or presidentship. I must thank Professor Hu Wang Lee first. Professor Hu Wang Lee, I owe to you whatever I have done in Asia Tapu. It is your faith and trust in me. I bow to you, sir. 
you uh, established Asia Temple. That's up to you. And what you've done for Asia Temple is remarkable. Just remarkable. From scratch, from zero, you created such a great organization. And then we had such wonderful flowers, such great leaders like uh, Professor Fuad, Professor Jihan Jian, and there are many others to come. We can see there are many, many great people coming up. It's a wonderful, dynamic, amazing organization that you have created for Sahih Wang Lee. Really, I'm grateful to you, thankful to you from the core of my heart. You've done great service to Asia Tafel, to English language teaching, to English language teachers, to English language learners all over Asia. Your contribution can never be forgotten. You are in the history. And of course, now my again thanks and congratulations to Professor Fuad and Professor Jihan John. You have been great friends and you have been great mentors, wonderful work, leadership qualities. I have learned a lot from you. And uh, whatever faults are mine, but whatever good things are, I have learned from you. Thank you very much and congratulations. Uh, maybe uh, Professor Jihan John or, and then Professor Fuad Haimez. Uh, would you like to say something for this? Maybe Sianjian, please first. Um, thank you all for giving us the, this uh, great uh, plague of appreciation. I think I never <laughs> expected and it was uh, very, very long. Um, we never expected that we would stay forever in the, our presidency because of COVID-19. You know, even after three years, it was a bit more extended due to COVID-19. Do you remember? We postponed our conference from June to November. Right. That's right. So five more and, months. <laughs> and we faced a lot of difficulties, but you know, Asia Temple have a great friendship and this great family-like friendship it was giving us a great um, power to receive more support from all the people around us. So we were lucky to getting all the help for the conference, the successful in Korea. Thank you all for your great nice friendship. Job. And whenever I saw you in this online meeting, we got great strength. So actually, yeah. all the success that we gained during our presidency is all because of you, my family and great friends. Thank you. And President uh, Pro Professor Fahd Hamid, uh, uh, he was here, but he is maybe somewhere else, I think. Yeah. When he gets back, then I will turn the mic over to him. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Well, there is one more thing, one important thing to be done at this time. That is, that is, ha ha ha, now, you know, the time flies. <laughs> Gagesh and I were inaugurated as president last year. Yes. And we have one more year left now. Yes. Now it's time to select new presidents for the next term, starting yes. from 2022. Majority of the executive council members have approved Professor Swashi Madia from Indonesia and Professor Chu Gyeong Park from Korea for the presidency of Asia TEFO from 2022 to 2024. According to the constitution, the two new selected candidates should be approved in the general business meeting, this meeting. They all are founding members of Asia Tefo and have been actively serving for the last 19 years. Currently, they all are vice presidents of Asia Tefo. Before we put it to a vote, Professor Masaki Oda, the chair of the presidential selection committee, will explain in a bit how the committee works and who the candidates are. Okay. Eh? Professor Oda? Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I'd like to explain how, what, uh, how we've done, how we done this. Um, in, I think it was June, some, um, the presidents, uh, Professor Gagesh and Professor Lee, had nominated me as a chair, to serve as a chair of the presidential selection committee. And uh, this committee consists of three uh, members. 
uh, Professor Marina Rashoka from Russia and Professor Isabel Martin from the Philippines, and I was a chair. So we uh, elicited the candidate and two, uh, the Professor Suas Madoya and uh, Professor Jukumpa uh, applied for the positions. And so that was uh, late July. And uh, in order to, uh, to uh, put that to the executive uh, EC, uh, we first reviewed the document in terms of a contribution to Asia T4 and also the, the other record. And we all anonymously agreed that they are well qualified for the candidates. On the, Sept uh, on the September 18th, that we, uh, the committee, they forwarded the list of candidates to the president, and then in the president uh, announced this to the uh, AEC and uh, for secret approval. They, on the September 23rd, that we all agreed that these two are candidates for the next president and to put forward to this particular meeting. And I'd like to introduce, I don't think that they need introduction, but I'd like to just read what they have originally uh, submitted. I mean, the kind of brief. Professor Sarge Madoya, Madoya Flower, is a founding member and currently a vice president and who has contributed to ADA Tefor in many ways, including the conferences for the 2018 in Bari and uh, 2017 in Yogyakarta. And also uh, uh, responsible for the upcoming conference in Malang, Indonesia in tw uh, 2022. And also uh, she has the experience serving in the TEF in, in Indonesia as well. And and also, you all remember the Asia T4 anthem, which was played at an opening ceremony. And actually, she had also created the anthem of the Asia T4. There are a lot of things to list, but uh, you know, it will take forever. So I will just cut it. Short. Okay, Professor Jukenpa, uh, also a founding member and uh, held various positions in Asia Tefo. So I usually tease her that when I need to introduce her, say, she gets busy you know, when the conference is coming around. Uh, was, she was a conf conference chair last year mm -hmm. and was currently vice president for the, uh, the finances and public relations. So I'm, I've been working very closely with her, the Asia Tefo. She was the first secretary general of Asia TEFO and conference chair twice in 2011. I know it was uh, uh, the very heavy rain over there in the Seoul and she managed it. And then last year, she also, uh, she was happened to be the conference chair in a very unusual situations. <laughs> but anyway, uh, their contribution to Asia TEFO is very, I would say huge. And uh, that's why that we actually recommended them to, uh, and put forward to the executive council. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor Oda. And uh, you did a successful job as uh, the chair for Presidential Selection Committee. Um, well, now that uh, we need Professor David Sheffer, the Director of Internal Affairs of Asia TEFO, uh, who will preside over the, um, the voting procedure of this. Uh, uh, meeting. So, Professor David Sheffer. Yes, thank you. Uh, in a minute, we will be uh, voting on our co president elect. But before that, we do that, I will explain once again a little uh, how the terms of office work. Uh, the, the presidency, as President E said earlier, is for a term of two years. Today, we will be voting on presidents elect. Their term of office will be one year, beginning today on, until next November. And after that, the presidents elect automatically uh, move up to the positions of president. So far, the 
nominating committee has approved of our two nominees. Uh, again, Suarshi Madhya of Indonesia and Jugyung Park of South Korea. Next, the Executive Council has also approved of these two nominees or candidates. What we have to do today is for the entire membership to vote whether to approve or not approve of these two candidates. Okay. Um, and I said this, the entire membership can vote. If there are people here who are not members of uh, Asia TEFL, uh, they would not have a vote. Only full members of Asia TEFL. Full members, as was said earlier, are paid members of Asia TEFL. Uh, I think the method that we have used in the past for voting, uh, we would do a voice vote. And if that was unclear, uh, we had the option of doing uh, a hand count to have the votes counted. Uh, all, always in the past, the voice vote was clear. But we never had a vote on Zoom before. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not sure how this is going to work. What I would like, what I would like is for all members to unmute in a minute, unmute their microphones. Mm. And then I will I will ask for all in favor of approving our two candidates to say I. And then uh, I will follow this by asking all the all those not in favor of approving the two candidates to say no. Now, in case, in the case that someone's microphone may not work or they do not have a microphone, uh, they could use the chat. And I think probably all of you know that the chat is at the bottom of your screen. You have to run your pointer over the bottom part, the black part of the screen, and it will appear in the middle. At least on my screen, it appears on the middle. Click on that, and then you can type in uh, your, your, you can type in yes or no in the chat there. But please make sure that it's uh, set to all so that everyone would be able to see it. All right, uh, let us do a vote. So now I will ask for all members to unmute your microphone that you can do down in the bottom right, bottom left corner by clicking on the the mic icon. Is everyone unmuted? Yes. All right. So now, all those in favor of Suarshi Madhya and Ju Gyeong Park as our dual presidents elect for the coming year, vote by saying aye. Thank you. Thank you. And anyone opposed to these two candidates for the positions of presidents elect, please vote by saying no.
hearing no one voting disapproval, I am able to announce that both Suwarshi Madhya and Ju Gyeong Park have been elected to the positions of presidents elect. Congratulations and thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Professor Schaeffer. Uh, yeah, it was a hard job, but um, you uh, made it successfully done. Thank you very much. Um, yes, the, you're like a very professional uh, judge. Um, he's a constitutional specialist. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, um, you know, the um, Professor Swamadia and Professor Gyeongpa uh, were confirmed as the president elect for one year. One year. Okay, okay, so, so now, now why don't we um, listen, listen to, to um, you know, know they're they saying something, something about, about this, this time. time. Professor Swash would you, yes, would you, yes, let's go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. Okay. Please. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, um, Sometimes I have a very bad connection, so. Well, um, good evening, everyone. Um, Honorable Professor Kyung, um, Kyung Lee and Professor Rafinder Kagesh, all EC and AB members and all the particip uh, participants in this uh, meeting. Um, it is indeed an honor and a privilege for me uh, to have the opportunity to serve as the president-elect. And of course, it's because you put the trust on me. And I will chair a um, call lead with uh, Professor Chu Kung Park, which really, who really uh, is very experienced in everything. So I feel safe with her. <laughs> Besides me, um, it has been for a long time. I was in. I have been involved in Asia Tefo, and two foundational values uh, had at, at that time motivated me to join. That is the independence and identity, and of course the family, the, the friendship, as uh, has been mentioned by Professor G. G. Yon. It's uh, really made me uh, feel comfortable and um, become, uh, become uh, happy all the time in uh, the big family of Asia Tefal. And of course, uh, I do realize that uh, taking the, uh, the position of presidents here is not an easy job, considering that you know, the predecessors have made big achievements. And um, hopefully, I. Um, I can also make another achievement furthering that. And um, I have the commitment as a, one of the three uh, crucial things mentioned by uh, Professor Park, commitment. Commitment is very important. And I expect also the um, mentoring from the predecessors, especially the founder of the Asia Tefo, Professor Hu Yong Lee and the uh, past immediate past presidents uh, Fuad Amul Abdul Hamid, uh, Professor Rafi in the Gagas, uh, and um, and others, all all the predecessors. I uh, believe that with their mentor, uh, with them as mentors, I can do my job. Uh, easily, more easily. I also expect the support from all EC members and AB members and all the participants. And only with your support, I can really um, be safe in carrying out this big job. Thank you very much for, for your support. And thank you again. Thank you very much, Professor Maria. Uh, now let's turn our mic to Professor Chu Park. Yes. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, first of all,
before I uh, give my talk, uh, speech, um, my name is Chu Kyung Park. You will have to call my name for the coming uh, two or three years. So if you don't know how to say my name, it will be a difficult time. So um, uh, if I will allow you to call me JK instead of Chu Kyung, if it's too much for you to learn how to say my name. So, um, okay. Well, esteemed advisory board, executive council, and all my fellow members of Asia TEFL, I'd like to thank all of you for your support and approval for Professor Suwasima Dia and me to serve as the next Asia TEFL president for the years 2023 and 24. As Professor uh, Oda introduced, as a founding and lifetime member for the past 18 years, I've been so much privileged to serve Asia TEFL in many roles and functions, including general secretary for three years, executive director of the conference, financial and external affairs for about 15 years, and the 2011 and 2020 conference chair, and currently vice president of finance and public relations. Now, humbly and happily, I accept this honor of presidency as my last but utmost service for Asia TEFL, my professional home ever. I envision Asia TEFL as becoming a world-class professional ELT association in three ways. First, Asia TEFL would not be confined to Asia geographically, but will embrace all Asian contexts and cultures as it welcomes diverse teachers and learners from all around the world. Asia TEFL would expand its scope and scale further to the whole world, pursuing excellence in ideas, methodologies, and practices. Second, Asia TEFL would continue to upgrade its standards to meet global changes and demands and to lead and represent the English language teaching profession globally. Last but not least, as a lingua franca, advocating and promoting ownership and equal rights for all English users. I'll tell you how and what I will focus in order to fulfill this in my inaugural speech next year. So you must attend 2022 Asia TEFL International Conference to be held in Indonesia in August next year. I know it's going to be quite an adventure, anticipating all the challenges and difficulties I'll face along the way, but I'm not going to be too much worried because I'm not out alone. I'll be accompanied by Professor Suwasi Madia, a great scholar with a strong leadership and warmest heart. And most of all, her passion for Asia TEFL great enough for her to host Asia TEFL conference in Indonesia, not only once or twice, but three times, including the one we'll have next year. And I have all of you with me. You'll be joining us to make Asia TEFL a world-class, everyone's must-join organization, won't you? If yes, please show me your big smile with your two thumbs up, would you? You got a two wide smile. No one. <laughs> all right. Well, let's grow all together and find peace through friendship, knowledge, and prosperity in Asia TEFL, as Asia TEFL Anthem says. I'll be looking forward to working with you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, great. Thank you very much for your touching you know, address. <laughs> well, um, Professor um, Fuad Hamid, uh, you are not here. Did you hear that you were given a, a word of appreciation? No. Yeah, so um, you were given a word of appreciation because you have done a great job as the president the last two years. So you need to uh, give us your feeling about it. Plus, now you are the, um, you know, have a lot of experience as the president. Now, please give some warm encouragement to the new elected the presidency elect at this time. Okay? Professor 
Fuad Hamid? Yes. Uh, Fuad, okay. Do I have to say anything? Professor <laughs> <laughs> Fuad, yes, you've just elected well, yes. two new president elects, Professor Madhya and Professor Chu Kyung Park. And uh, thank you for being a mentor and thank you for being, leading us on, for teaching us how to be like presidents, me and Professor Lee. We have um, said what we wanted to say, you were not here, but we said very good words about you. Thank you very much for being the president and a very dynamic and a very encouraging president and you did a lot of work and uh, particularly Yogyakarta, I remember, it was just wonderful, phenomenal. Even from Delhi, I met you, you have, your contribution has been tremendous. So now I would like to request you to please uh, say a few words of encouragement to our new president-elect. They are going to take your place after a year or so. Uh, okay, uh, this is an uh, amazing uh, time for uh, all of us in Asia Devo uh, to have a uh, new presidency elect. Uh, my congratulations to uh, Professor Suarez Madia and uh, also to Professor Ju Kyung Park. And I uh, believe that uh, your presidential a post would uh, run very smoothly uh, considering your uh, experience uh, involving yourselves in Asia Devil and in almost all activities conducted by this organization. Uh, for myself, I have been uh, enjoying being uh, together with all of you in Asia Devil, and uh, that's uh, why I still. Uh, try to join uh, some of the, the activities that Asia Devo uh, has been uh, conducting uh, so far. Uh, I love you all and uh, good luck to the new uh, president elects. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Father Haimiet. Well, um... and, and I'm I'm wearing I'm wearing the. Uh, a T-shirt that I gained from one of the conferences uh, uh, during Asia Devil conferences. Uh, right, that's that's on the many <laughs> conference. Uh, he was held in Koyang, Korea. Yes. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Asia Devil T-shirt. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank wow. you very much. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah. We appreciate your loyalty, <laughs> your faithfulness. Thank you very much. Well, you know, the yesterday and today, uh, we are having a very good um, experience uh, in this conference. As you might know that we have Asia Temple Conference has like a, a inspiration and also warm hearted feeling all the time at the same time. So this kind of atmosphere will be delivered over to a certain region next year. That is Malang, Indonesia. Okay, so at this time, I'd like to introduce a delegate uh, from Indonesia to talk about the next year conference. Uh, Professor Ivan, would you start, please? Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Francisca Ivan from Indonesia, from Universitas Negeri Malang in East Java, Indonesia. And I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit about uh, our preparation and we welcome you all to come to Malang. Hopefully next year is going to be a lot better than this year so that we can all be together um, in, you know, face to face, not virtually. Okay, so uh, would you please allow me to uh, share screen, but I'm still disabled. Monty, can you allow her to share her screen? Uh, share screen the one. Just get the share, screen shared. Uh, this is uh, Francisca Ivana. I'm pushing the screen. Uh, Professor Francisca M. Ivana. Get the screen shared.
No, we are not finding her. Oh no, she's there. No, Is sir, she... her no, sir, her screen froze, and then she's not there right now. Oh, I, I think see. she okay. had a connectivity issue, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank she's you. not there. Now. Thank you, Sandeep. Uh, I will try to check her. Hmm. You are the co-host now. I'm very sorry. No, you just need to. Oh God. Okay. Very sorry. I'm back. My internet was okay. Uh, cut off. All right. So I'm I'm still disabled. I'm not able to share screen. Francesca, you're the co-host uh, now. Co you're the co-host. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Francesca, a screen is still frozen again. So I think uh, she's having some connectivity issues. Hmm. Helping the other Give it to the, you know, other lady, Sandesha. She's also Sandesha. Yes, sir. Uh, the other lady is the co another co-host also. Uh, sir, Francesca is the co-host, and yes. I'm not the co-host, so I no, can't do not anything. You, not you. Not you. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back. She's I'm back. back. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very sorry. It's raining here, so we have yeah. problems. There's with a internet connection. Yeah, and we have a volcanic yeah. eruption earlier today, so. I'm very sorry. So I'm going to go back to my presentation. So let me tell you a little bit about Teflin. Teflin is the organization, uh, Association of Teaching English as a Foreign Language in Indonesia. It, it is a professional organization run primarily by volunteer members of the organization. And its members are in, uh, institutions and individuals focusing on teaching English as a foreign language in Indonesia. The association holds an annual international conference and several national conferences held by its, mem uh, its chapters. And that next year's Teflin International Conference is going to be not only a conference, which is an academic event to connect professionals and stakeholders in the field of teaching English as a foreign language in Indonesia, but it is going to be also covering those people in Asia. Uh, next is uh, about INELTA. So next year's Asia TEFL conference is going to be joined with the Teflin uh, conference as well as INELTAL conference. And INELTAL is an annual international conference hosted by the Department of English, Faculty of Letters, Universitas Negeri Malang, which is my university. It stands for the International English Language Teacher and Lecturers Conference. And uh, it is an annual international conference hosted by my Department of English, Faculty of Letters, Universitas Negeri Malang, which houses two undergraduate, one master's, and one doctoral study programs. Its vision is to become a center of excellence, providing outstanding ICT-based higher education that is responsible to global advancements in the fields of English language and English language education. Now, this is a little bit about the host. So, Universitas Negeri Malang is a public university, which is formerly a teacher training and education institute located in East Java, Indonesia. Its new spirit of excellence in learning innovation is aimed at presenting UM as a learning resource, learning site, learning media, and learning inspiration for students, lecturers, staff, personnel, and the society. And we have eight faculties with 
13 three years, uh, three year programs, 59 undergraduate, 33 masters, and 16 doctoral study programs, including a doctoral study uh, program in English language education. So, this is location of Malang, so mm -hmm. right in the middle of Indonesia. So, we are in East Java, Indonesia. I will share with you the conference teaser video. All right. Very good. So, thank you. So next year's conference is still going to be a hybrid conference. We will try to provide an academic sharing and discussion forum for ELT researchers and practitioners across Asia, provide various pre-conference workshops for professional development, disseminate and publish current research and conceptual ideas, provide networking forum for ELT researchers and practitioners across Asia, and also, we will try to promote cultural understanding among Asian countries and rekindle the spirit, spirit and energy of conferences by holding a hybrid conference. So next year's theme is going to be hindsight, insight, and foresight in ELT in multilingual Asia. And we offer 21 uh, topics covering English language teaching, literature, uh, linguistics, as well as um, translation. So a little bit about next year's conference. So as I said before, it's going to be a joint conference between Asia Travel, Tafling, and IMELTA. And the event will be hosted by Universitas Negeri Malang in Asia by Indonesia. It's going to be held as a hybrid conference with 400 people on site, about 400 on site participants and unlimited number of participants online, of course. Uh, this is going to be a one day pre conference workshop and a three day conference event. So the target participants are 800 to 1,000 ELT lecturers, teachers, postgraduate students from Asia. Some will be, hopefully, we'll be able to get some study for, for some of you. And presenters have also the chance to publish in ISSN and index proceedings and some partner journals. For Teflin, it's the uh, journal, which is uh, Q2, Scopus Index, and the others are indexed in Indonesian um, indexing system. So the conference uh, will be held on August 5th to 2nd as hybrid conference. So we are going to hold synchronous online and offline sessions. Uh, we will kick off with a pre-conference workshop day on August the 4th, 2022 with online and offline options. So there are going to be uh, work, uh, workshops which are conducted online and then on-site. The, our keynote speaker for next year is going to be Professor Nizam the Director General of Higher Education in Indonesia. And we are going to uh, also invite six plenary speakers, including Professor Wen, who's here today with us. So Professor Wen, uh, Professor Kessler, Professor Jono, Professor Goh, and Professor Highland, as well as Professor Wid Utami Widyati from Universitas Negeri Malang, who is the current uh, Tatlin president. Our target participants are Asia Tatlin members, as well as Tatlin members, and as well as non-members. These are the publications that we are going to be able to um, publish in. So we, are, we offer in, uh, index as, a, as well as ISSN uh, proceedings. For the index one, it's going to be at cost. So there yeah. are going to be additional payments. <laughs> yep. so for the journals, there are, uh, we are going to uh, 
send your papers to this journal so that you can get quick initial review and then you can later on process it with the journals. So the conference sessions in next year's conference will be keynote and plenary sessions, invited or featured speaker sessions, parallel sessions, poster sessions, and, and workshop sessions. For the pre-conference workshops, we are going to work together with several organizations. ITEL is the Indonesia Technology Enhanced Language Learning Organization. So they are going to talk about the, the use of technology in ELP. We are going to work together with IERA, which is Indonesia Extensive Reading Association. We are going to work together with the British Council, Regional English Language Office, as well as the uh, experts from Universitas Negeri Malang. So these are some of the important dates. So we are going to kick off with call for abstract and presentation on December 8th. So if you go to our website on December 8th, there are going to be more detailed information on this on next year's conference. Thank you very much. Good. Well, it is always great to think that um, there is a, a very um, a wonderful international uh, conference uh, is waiting for us. You know, we cannot wait until the next year conference. And um, I hope that um, everybody uh, will be there in Malang, Indonesia. And um, I know that the pandemic, uh, I don't know, we really, I cannot see when it would be ending, but uh, we all hope that uh, we can meet in person over there in Malang, Indonesia uh, next year. Well, uh, it's now 10.40 in Korea now. Um, <laughs> we already, uh, uh, you know, spent two hours in, uh, mm -hmm. in general business meeting. So, um, and then we have uh, one more day tomorrow for yes. this conference. Yeah, I hope that all, every one of you, um, you know, have a good time and good experiences and also share in our warmth and friendship with one another in this conference. So I hope that you have a good night. Uh, before that, Professor okay. Lee. Yes. There's going to be some cultural, 10 minutes cultural program. Oh, Please yeah. Wait for yeah. 10 minutes. Don't leave. Don't leave. It tastes yeah. some Indian, Indian curry. Yeah. It tastes some Indian curry. <laughs> oh, curry. Yeah. Okay. Curry and rice. No, no Professor Korean, Lee. Indo Korean curry. Professor Lee. Ah. Today, Rajendra Mistri used the term chutney fire. Chutney fire. So, all of you will be chutney fired after watching this scintillating performance. Please wait for a while, for five, seven minutes, not more all than right. that. So thank you. रंगवती रंगवती कोन कोलोता हसी पते कोन कोता रंगवती रंगवती आहार मूर्धन किड़े मिलन छन छन एसी मन रंगवती 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 रंगवती
ବତୀ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀ ହେ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀରେ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀ ଏ ହେ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀରେ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀ ହାଏ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀ କନ କଲତା ହସି ପଦେ କନ କଥା ହାଏ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀ ରଙ୍ଗବତୀ କନ କଲତା ହସି ପଦେ କନ କଥା Is it only the only one? One more. Pran, 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 dha. Murali mano har Krishna ka nahi ya jamuna ke tat pe viraj hai. Jana na na jana na na jana na 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 kaan 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 dha. Murali mano har Krishna ka nahi ya jamuna ke tat pe viraj hai. Jana na na jana na na jana na 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 moor mukut sara kaan ho me kun hal kar me muraliya 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 taaj hai. Taaj hi thi taaj taaj hi thi taaj kitne me di dikhai raha. राधा 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 सीधा दीदी सीधा दीदी थई चला नना चला नना चुम चुम चला नना चुम चुम चला नना नीरा तत्ता कान धकान धकान चुम चला नना तत्ता चुम तत्ता चुम तत्ता सीधा दीदी ता सीधा दीदी ता मन धकबर से आय रही ता थे थे ता ता थे थे ता धान ठीक से ठीक ता ना ठीक से ठीक ता दे 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 ता ना ना ता ना ता आय रही ठीक ता ठीक ता ठीक ता ठीक ता ठीक ता शर्म आय रही ठीक ता ठीक ता ठीक ता ठीक ता ठीक ता मुस्काय रही बलखाय रही ठीक ता 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 � लंबासा घूम बटकार लिया बंसी के सुरो भर झूम गई धरे धरे पे गगरिया मोहनी मोहन की और ही धूम किता धूम किता धूम किता धूम किता मैं गई कृष्ण कन्हे यानत घटने राधा की कन्हे याता मिले ही राधा ने पारा ने पुकारा हाय दई कोई आओ सकी कोई आओ सकी फिर हाथ छुड़ा कर बोली हटो मिला फिर हाथ छुड़ा कर बोली हटो अब जाओ डगरिया छोड़ मुरी कहा कृष्ण ने सुपर है पर ना दूंगा डगरिया छोड़ तुरी राधा तब उसकी शोकी पर कुछ बिगड़ी भी मुस्काई भी फिर कृष्ण से पूछा कौन हो तुम क्या नाम है जी क्या काम है जी क्या काम है जी हमें गोप गोवाला कहते हैं हमें गोप गोवाला कहते हैं और कृष्ण दिया है नाम हमें नाम हमें कोई नटवर गिरधर कहता है कोई नटवर गिरधर कहता है और कोई कहे धन शाम हमें और कृष्ण ने उनका साथ दिया कुछ बात हुई कुछ घात हुई इतने में सूरज डूब गया इतने में सूरज डूब गया राधा की पायल जादू की दोनों में कला की जागू थी आधा तय कह सूंगा भागे सिंगता ตาเกตะตาตะตาตุงตาเกตะตะตาตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะตะ
अब रैन को दीप सवा रहे थे और नील गगन पे तारे थे रैन को दीप सवा रहे थे और नील गगन पे तारे थे राधा को विदा के इशारे राधा को विदा के इशारे थे राधा ने आंचल बांध लिया मुरली को संभाला माधव ने गदी की लठा गदी की लठा गदी की लठा Uh, plus, uh, announce who are the performers. Thank you very much. The first one is a folk, um, for folk dance from Odisha, and the second one was a Kathak dance. Yes, you know, it's a classical dance from North India, and mm -hmm. you saw that. You know, the second one uh, was about Krishna and Radha. Krishna is Lord Krishna of Mahabharat. If you have read it, you must know that he was the main character in Mahabharat, and Radha was his consort. And um, what is interesting is that both of them were born and brought up in Mathura. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> that kind of thing. So yeah, thank you very much for your. Uh, Moti ji, can you tell who were the performers in the second second session? Uh, yeah, there to be students, students from Delhi uh, University. Yeah, they are uh, both of them are students of this university, and you know, yesterday the performers were also from this university. We'll you know thank them tomorrow with their names. We'll do that uh, formally tomorrow. Thank you very much, and good night. Good night, and namaste. namaste. Good night. Good night. Good night.